So some people have been commenting on my videos, both the, let's say, white or Anglo-Israelites, so-called, and the black Hebrews have been commenting on my videos. And it seems everywhere you turn, turn left, turn right, everywhere you turn, everybody wants to be the Jews or the Israelites or the chosen people. But St. Paul says, you can look it up, I'll give you this reference here in the text, in the description, but St. Paul in the New Testament says, he is a Jew who is one inwardly. And the Torah calls them, and the scriptures, the Old Testament calls them, uh, the, the Israelites and, and the Hebrews, according to the flesh, a stiff-necked people. That's what the prophets call them, who do always err in their hearts. And so why would we want to be those people? Not to put them down, because all the apostles were Jews, our Lord Jesus Christ, God himself, according to the New Testament and according to the testimony of the apostles, God became a Jew. But it seems like everyone is trying to walk their way or grasp their way up into favor with God or a special ethnic status uh, by defining their tribe as Jews. Another New Testament warning is avoid endless genealogies. Okay, I'll give you that one too. So let's step back away from this. There's another scripture. I'm bringing in a lot of scriptures here. Bear with me. In the Old Testament, it says, God has concluded all mankind together in iniquity. I want to suggest to you that there's a big trap. There's a big trap here. Because white people, including the Khazarian Jews, whether they're Semitic or not, I don't want to get into that. The bottom line is, the whole concept of racial superiority has affected so many people and been used, as my friend Brother Rick Ellis has pointed out, as a perversion of the doctrine of election, which is in the Bible. God does elect and choose people, but that has been perverted. That's not a racist message or an ethnic message in the Bible. That has been perverted by different racial groups throughout history into a racial superiority, superiority message. But the biblical message of election is no such thing. The biblical message says that those who are chosen and called are those who humble themselves before God. Like my Muslim friends like to emphasize uh, submission, submission to God. And there's no character in the Bible who is more submitted than the Lord Jesus Christ, who, who even to the point of crucifixion said, be it nonetheless not my will, but thine be done. Be it, and his mother said, be it done unto me according to thy will. Even when she didn't understand everything she was going to have to endure, she trusted God and submitted to him. My point is this. Those who submit to God, those who humble themselves, they are the elect of God. Of every tribe, with Chinese, every form of Asian, every form of Caucasian, if there's undiscovered tribes, okay, if a Neanderthal walked out of the woods, you know, I think they're human, right? Um, God has concluded us outside of Christ altogether in iniquity. But with the blood of Christ, the blood of the only prophet, the only Jew, the only human being, the only Hebrew, the only Israelite, who ever fully and completely and without error and without sin, totally pleased and satisfied God. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Without his blood on us, we have no good thing wherein we can stand before Almighty God. Okay? You hearing me? No good thing. No good thing. So, the, the trouble is, the people groups who have been oppressed, when they've been oppressed long enough, it's like when a vampire bites you, right? Then you, the temptation is, and, and, and the curse goes on, if you become, you know, if you don't get help or do something fast, you become the next vampire, right? Or when a man abuses his wife and then she beats the kids, right? Or when a father abuses a child, you know, physically or, or sexually. Um, and then that child grows up, in some cases, to be a similar kind of abuser, or sex abuser, or physical abuser, okay? It's that cycle of abuse. So when one ethnicity, or one race, or racial group, right, we're really all one human race, but when one tribe is particularly and systematically and very successfully abusive to another, and they make these claims, we are the Jews, like the British Israelites do, or like the Khazarians do, or like different groups have, then those oppressed groups, when they start to, to pierce through the lie, you know, that these people are superior racial um, groups, 
They may have, uh, you know, any particular tribe, let me step back, has a particular uh, gifting in a particular area and can be higher IQ, lower IQ in that tribe, better at running, better at, I'm not talking about that now. I mean, when people have been oppressed and have a sense of their oppression, then the temptation, when they pierce through that oppression, is to grasp, to be, now I get to be the oppressor, right? I get to be the ones. So now they want to label themselves as the true Hebrews, the true, well, guess what? The Hebrews failed. Okay, they didn't fail because we have Jesus and the apostles and the prophets. They didn't fail. We have the Bible. But in the other, as, a, as an ethnic group, okay, with their special covenant, having rejected Christ and crucified him, I'm talking about the ones who didn't repent when Peter preached the gospel of repentance. They're a failure. Why would we want to be them? I'm telling you that what the Bible says in the book of Galatians, what the Apostle Paul says, is that the true Israel, and this should satisfy it for everyone who believes that the New Testament is the Word of God, and that Paul is a called apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul said very clearly in Galatians chapter 6, verse 16, that the true Israel, the Israel of God, and I quote, the Israel of God, unquote, he says in 14, 15, and 16 that they are those who are circumcised in the heart, not outwardly in the flesh, but that doesn't matter. But he says it's those people who in their hearts have been made a new creature, crucified in Christ. Old things have passed away. Ethnicity does not matter. So I'm warning you, my friends, who are seeing through the Zionist lies and the evil agenda, don't just turn these people into devils. They are no more devils than you are, okay? Yes, there's a special curse upon the Jews who reject Jesus. That's, that's true, okay? But they can come out of it by believing in Messiah, just like you, just like me. So don't let the fact that we've been bitten by them, deceived by them, abused by them, used by them, turn us around into the deceivers, the biters, and the abusers. Don't do it. And the only way out of this vicious cycle that humanity is caught in right now, only one way out, is the blood of Jesus Christ. You don't have enough righteousness in you. I don't have enough righteousness in me to get out of this cycle of abuse and vampirism. We devour one another outside of Christ. We have to feed on the blood of God and the body of God to set us free from this terrible curse. And there's no benefit in... I'm Hebrew, tracing genealogies. Well, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. You know, who cares? God has concluded us all together in iniquity. We need the blood of Jesus. God help us.